Hi, everybody. Doug Jenkins with the Finley Hancock County Chamber of Commerce. Another video on our YouTube educational series trying to help guide businesses through COVID-19 and the current realities that we have. Joining me today, Lydia Mahalik. Of course, she's the director of the Department Services Agency. I had to look at my note over there. I may have <laughs> accidentally called you mayor without looking at the, uh, the notes. So okay. it's, uh, yeah. We'll move forward with that. Uh, Lydia, first of all, thank you for joining us today. A lot going on, obviously, in your world right now uh, and the CARES Act and everything, just the latest. But before we get into that, can you kind of tell us the lead up to everything that has led into this grant program? Yeah, well, you know, what, we, what we've been looking at uh, for quite some time now is, you know, the entire landscape uh, as it relates uh, to the economy. Um, you know, at development, we are laser focused on small business. Um, you know, we are the home to the state's SBDCs, uh, the minority business assistance centers across the state, uh, our PTAC uh, offices across the state. So small business is kind of our thing. And, um, you know, we've been looking and, and trying to figure out what's out there in terms of the universe of, of assistance. Um, we opened up early on the Office of Small Business Relief inside of development within just a few weeks of the pandemic starting. And that's really been a nice resource uh, for folks to go to, to kind of see what's out there. Um, not only can you get information in a one-stop shop for the federal programs that are available, but also you can get connected to our SBDCs, our small business development centers across the state. Um, and it's just really a, an opportunity for, for businesses to reach out and, and ask questions uh, to our team as well. And so really uh, what we announced uh, last week, uh, actually the, what the governor and the lieutenant governor uh, announced last week is really part of a $419.5 million CARES Act uh, economic recovery package. Mm -hmm. um, the funding out of, of that package not only helps small businesses to the tune of $125 million, but also restaurants and bars, uh, hospitals, higher education, the arts, uh, nonprofits. And then of course we have a program uh, for low income Ohioans who have been impacted financially by the pandemic uh, with our rental and mortgage assistance. Uh, so we developed this program. It's a $125 million small business relief program as well as a $38.7 million program to provide a $2,500 stimulus to bars and restaurants. I think what's interesting about this program is that it is designed to make sure that a lot of times when programs come out, you'll hear people say, well, it's gonna to go to the three C's before mm -hmm. it gets to the smaller uh, communities. Uh, right. This is designed not to be like that. Each county has a stake in this. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, it was really important to us um, to have a regional, a fair regional distribution of these resources, recognizing that small businesses all across the state uh, have been impacted. Um, and the, the other key to this is that this program is to we've really micro targeted small businesses that have 25 or fewer uh, employees. Um, clearly, we don't have enough in terms of, of, of CARES Act dollars to assist everyone. Uh, and we recognized early on that, you know, there were some smaller businesses that didn't necessarily have access to the payroll protection program, you know, whether that was because, you know, they didn't have a, an existing financial uh, relationship with an, a banking or a lending institution, um, or they just didn't get in in time. Uh, maybe they didn't have necessarily the capacity and the firepower, like maybe a larger small business would have. Um, and so what we, we really wanted to do was, was micro-target those companies. Um, but our goal really is to fund at least 50 businesses in each county across the state. So 50 businesses in all 88 counties across the state. We've set aside $500,000 uh, for each county for the first 21 days of this particular program. Applications throughout um, the whole process starting November 2nd at 10 a.m. are going to be approved on a first come first serve basis and grants actually are going to be awarded from each county's allocation first. And then if the county's allocation gets depleted, so when it's all gone, then the grants uh, from that point forward are going to be awarded from the remainder uh, of the funding that's available, again, on a first come, first serve basis, regardless of their location in the state. So really an opportunity. We just wanted to make sure that, you know, even the smaller counties uh, across the state had an opportunity to, to, to access this funding in the first three weeks. I think that's a, a very nice piece to this puzzle. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, the opening date for this is November 2nd. Is that at midnight? Should we be brewing a pot of coffee to, to get going? Yeah. At the time? So no, not at midnight. It's, it's November 2nd at 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, but the best thing you can do right now, and I would urge you to do right now, is to go to businesshealth.ohio.gov. Um, there you can find a link to the Small Business Relief Program, um, as well as the Bars and Restaurants Assistance Fund. 
Um, both of them have links to all of the information that you're going to need uh, to have in order to fill out the application starting November 2nd at 10 a.m. It also has a link that, or a, a printout. There, there's some definition there of terms and conditions for the award. I think that's important uh, for people to be able to review. So get to businesshealth.ohio.gov, take a look at what's going to be required, use the next couple of days to really round up uh, that information. It's not a lengthy application by any stretch. There are a couple documents that we're going to require uh, you uh, to upload, uh, but go to businesshealth.ohio.gov and learn more. All right. So make sure you get that done over the weekend. Uh, we get an extra hour to do that, right? Or no, we fall back. Do we? I don't know. How. Falling back. So yeah, we are getting an extra yeah, hour. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we get the extra <laughs> hour. So you have a little <laughs> extra time to do that this weekend. Um, one last question before you, before I let you go. Uh, obviously, at the chamber, we do a lot to, to work with our members and try and make sure they have a voice at the state. Um, and I have to imagine you are hearing a lot from small businesses in your role from all across the state, not just Hancock County. How much of a hand have smaller businesses had in being able to shape not just this policy, but any look at, you know, with cases on the rise, there are concerns about for further regulations. How much do you listen to the concerns of small businesses when, when taking that into account? Yeah, look, uh, Doug, we are we are listening uh, with an open ear and an open mind uh, and a heavy heart, understanding that, you know, these are uncertain times uh, and, um, you know, we may not have all the, the solutions and all the answers, but we definitely uh, had an ear to the ground, chambers across the state, um, the NFIB, mm -hmm. um, you know, looking, looking and listening uh, to partners uh, from all corners uh, of the state of Ohio and, and, and trying to be responsive. I mean, I think um, you know, the, the result of what we're seeing with the Bars and Restaurants Assistance Fund uh, that's now available is a result of a strong uh, relationship with the Ohio Restaurant Association. So we're constantly uh, listening and, and looking for feedback and, and certainly open um, to, to learn more uh, about what we can do to try and be helpful. I think the challenge really, uh, and it's, it's oh, this is not unique to Ohio, but the amount of resources that we have to actually deploy out in the field are very limited. Um, we are uh, looking forward to, uh, to Congress coming back uh, after the election and getting something done relative to a second relief package. Uh, states, localities, businesses, uh, small and large, um, everyone uh, needs help getting through this. Uh, and so if we work together and we listen to what the concerns are and come up with solutions, um, I think we'll be much better off uh, in the long run. All right. Well, Lydia, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, and again, it, the, the website for, for people to, to get signed up for this. It's businesshelp.ohio.gov.